What's going on guys and welcome back to Zway 2 the Ilvard Insurrection. So last time around we began our journey through the abandoned Secundum mines in search of Alwyn's magic. It seems like a piece of her uh, magic is here. Um, so yeah we made about, I'm assuming we made it about halfway through because we did hit a save point and everything. And so Let's just go ahead and make our way through the rest of it this episode. Hopefully we can get that new magic. I think that's going to be pretty hype. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a pretty cool new like gameplay mechanic or something associated with it. And also, it would be nice to level up because I, I'm trying to save my food. In this game, it seems like you level up through food, right? Oh my god, it's getting, it's getting a lot harder here. Okay. Like, okay, but in this game... It seems like you level up with food, and um, it does seem like um, ah, I'm losing my train of thought. So I'm trying to. The reason why I'm trying to save my food is because ten of them gets get to like a better item, but I have to go back to town for that. So I am trying to beat this as a level one, but it seems hella difficult right now. Um, I am not sure if I could still do that. We will rest. Okay, I'm gonna rest and then I'm going to try and head down this way instead because that, that place is definitely way too hard. And it does look like this is the way to go. Well, looky what the cat dragged in. Who's that? Ooh, new character. Doesn't look evil to me either. Well, I'll be damned. Wasn't expecting to see anyone else stick their noses in here. You gotta be pretty gutsy to just roll into these mines like you have. And who the heck are you? Let's see this. Name's Odessa. I'm the traveling sort. Come to Ilvar just the other day, in fact. Don't reckon I've seen either of you around these parts. You from Ilvar? Nope, we're travelers too, same as you. Name's Ragna Valentine. You may call me Alwyn. Ragnar and Alwyn, eh? Hmm. Seeing as you've got the anchor gear strapped to your arm, I'm guessing you and I are this in the same line of work, eh, kiddo? The Gurren Lagann thing? <laughs> Ooh, who are you calling a kid? Yeah, so I might be a bit fresh-faced, but that doesn't mean you. Oh, triggered. <laughs> Wait, same line of work? Holy crap, are you Odessa the Wild Wolf? Ooh, famous, famous uh, scavenger, hunter. What are they called again? Oh, you've heard of me. Of course I have. Ain't no one in this business who hasn't. What's this now? Are you two friends? Not exactly, but she's pretty famous. She's a treasure hunter like me. That, that's the term, treasure hunter. But she's a treasure hunter like me, but she's made a bigger name for herself as a bounty hunter. Ooh. Hearing she's on their trail is enough to make plenty of bounties soil themselves. <laughs> Just criminals shitting their pants as soon as they find out she's after them. Oh my. Come on, I ain't that bad. Ragnar, right? I seem to remember hearing a few things about you myself. Really now. A fiery redhead who runs around swinging an anchor here like a maniac and an aeroplane nut besides. Heh, <laughs> guilty as charged. Can't say that being called an aeroplane nut sounds very flattering, though. Anyway, what's someone with your credentials doing all the way out here? Did some big name bounty stop over on this island or something? Yeah, something like that. Pretty sure he didn't come through this way, though. Oh well, reckon I'll just have to look somewhere else. Hey, so you've already been further in? What's ahead? Anything weird? Well, I didn't really push all that much further in. I'll tell you this much though, I didn't find what I was looking for in there. Huh? Well. That's all you're gonna tell us? You piece of shit. Hey! I did pick up a few signs that other folks have been there before though. So if you're thinking of going on ahead, you'd better watch yourselves. Looks like the princess there already knows what I'm talking about, don't ya? Princess? Hehe, <laughs> how interesting. Wait, how does she know? Did Alwyn say she was a princess? Odessa, was it? I hope we'll be fortunate enough to meet again. That's interesting. I I might have missed her 
all when introducing herself as a princess, but I don't think Odessa would know that. Hey, it's nice to see you're getting along with someone for a change, but what was she going on about? Isn't it obvious? I'm more certain than ever that my magic is hidden somewhere ahead, but there's something else too, and I don't know what. It'd probably be prudent to proceed with caution from here on in. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Well, whatever. Let's get ready and see what we can find. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Let's switch over to Alwyn. Okay, so it's... It's... Okay, so it seems like the other place I went was a higher difficulty. I'm going to have to revisit that when I am a higher level. But as of right now, I have every reason to believe that having 10 times an item is more than having 10 times the XP. So if I want to be optimal, I should be saving it up, at least for now. Maybe later on, if I absolutely need it, I will use them to level up, but for now, it seems fine. I do sort of wish that, like, um... Oh, wow, 11 damage. I do, I do honestly wish that, um... I could just, like... I could, I got XP from enemies too, like maybe it's both, like I get XP from enemies but I also get like bonuses and stuff. I'm curious, does food heal? So, I think as a healing tool, I do sort of need to. So I, I think that's probably the best way to go about doing this, like use it for healing and use it to conserve, or and then conserve the rest. Okay, so this guy isn't actually too hard. It, it, I think it boils down to just dodging that. Okay. Easier said than done, I suppose. Okay. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I kind of need to do this right now. Okay. I do want to try to keep at least five, but I... I am getting close to a level up now. And there we go. Was that worth it? Not really. <laughs> it really didn't feel all that worth it, but I mean, whatever, a win's a win, right? It would have been nice to get some sort of food. Luckily these guys aren't too too strong. Even then though, they're like pretty good HP sponges, you know? Uh, another one of these. Okay, I'm kind of left with... I'm kind of stuck in a hard spot now. Okay, okay. So I definitely need... Well, I'm completely going against my word now, but I I need healing. Oh, huh, interesting. So it kind of grays out of your inventory. Okay, at the very least, I'm level 2 now. I have more max HP. I wonder if there is, like, skills I could use. Impulse magic, the standard anchor gear. Okay, that's my weapon. Okay. Well, let's see how this affects my stats. Wow! Wow, that's a huge difference. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, you know what? I think... Okay, uh, Okay. I take back what I said. This is definitely worth it. Like, in the long run, sure, it's probably less optimal, but... Man, I guess I could just grind for stuff later, right? In the short run, this is definitely, like... Like, this is definitely, like, essential. It, this is key for this area, you know? Like, five, like, my damage, I went up from two damage to five. That's a big difference. Wow, and all one's doing six damage? That's crazy stuff. Yeah, the controls in this game are really nice, though. Pretty fluid. Um, wow, this is this is free. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I. 
<laughs> I'm literally using up all of my healing now, but I will I will do it for HP. Like I definitely do want to test out um, the whole ten items thing, though. Like if you use ten of the same item, if, do you get more than um, more than ten times the amount? And I, and these enemies seem pretty easy, and they do drop. They do drop food. Or they were dropping food earlier. I think they were dropping meatballs or something. Yeah, so uh, this one gives me meatballs. Pretty useful. Definitely better than cucumber rolls, right? So that is not the place to go. There was a switch further back. I'm just thinking about how I could activate that. Deep in the mines. Yeah, this is the switch. Oh, I just have to attack. Okay. I mean, that's fine. That's something. That's a mental note. So, stuff should be open here. Man, jumping, jumping in this game is just like... Man, really satisfying. I, there's something about it that just feels right, you know? Ooh. I think I'm getting close to a boss. Okay, lots of switches. Probably part of some puzzle. Let's uh, clear out the enemies first and then deal with the switches. Or maybe I just have to hit all of them. Okay. Oh yeah, and I gotta also remember the bomb I have. That's probably useful for um, the boss coming up. Assuming there is a boss, which let, let's face it, this is a JRPG. There, there's going to be a boss at the end of the dungeon. Does that work? No. Okay. I mean, I suppose it will alert me, right? Okay. Is this just supposed to be trial and error? Like, come on, game. Oh, okay. We'll take it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. Yo, the... Um, there's this, there's, uh, there's this Majora's Mask creepypasta called Ben Drowned. And, um, in that, basically, that's about, like, this quote-unquote coast... Uh, like a uh, cursed copy of Majora's Mask, and during that, um, like in that in that save file, basically everyone in the game says you shouldn't have done that. That's kind of like the climax of it all, or you know, that's kind of how it ends. And um, I could just, I just like <laughs> I it's kind of like reminds me of that. It's just like I fuck up big time, and I'm like, oh shit. That's just playing in my head now. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was some creepy stuff. I, I watched that when I was... Or I read that when I was a kid. And Jesus Christ, it was something, man. Check it out. It's called Ben Drowned. It's, uh... It's something creepy. Um, of course, there's also, like... Also, in the base game itself, the happy mask salesman always, like, creeped the fuck out of me. When he was saying, like, um... You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Like, oh, oh, that just rubbed me the wrong way. And wow, I am so close to a level up. Alright, there we go. Is there two ways to go? Hmm, which way? Um... I, I've said this in my Tales playthrough a lot. I don't know if I've said this in this one yet, but in JRPGs, I always try to go the wrong way, the quote-unquote wrong way first, because there's usually treasure that way. So I like to gather all of the treasure and then go the quote-unquote correct way. So this egg, wow, that gives a lot of XP. I do want to try and save that, but I'm at the point where I want to try and be efficient with my food. I think if I do level up to level 3, like, I'm gonna, like, curb stomp these enemies just based on how the trajectory is. So that will be pretty nice. 
um, just like you know kicking their ass and everything but um, again I want to level up when I need HP I want to be efficient in that manner because I, I clearly wasn't optimal in the sense of saving my food but this way okay okay so that thing I can't fight that, that looks like it'll do heavy damage Oh, I've got a good plan. Yeah, this is this is definitely a way easier. Thank you, Alwyn. I should use Alwyn more. I have this like habit in uh, games to like use just use the main character. It's a strange thing I got. Oh fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Hold up. Oh. I'm seriously starting to run out of healing items. Okay, these guys, I definitely want to fight with Ragna. Oh, that's not going very well. Honestly, the cannonball only seems to do one damage, which is not very, which is not detrimental in my opinion. Sick, I did get a healing item from you. Grilled smelts. Ooh, another bomb. Let's go. Okay, I believe that was further back. Yes, treasure. Give me that treasure. What do we get here? Sentinel's gauntlets. Let's go to... Items. What does that do? Sentinel's gauntlet. Monster model? Is it, is it not under? I don't see it here. Huh, strange stuff. Accessories. What does this do? Defense 2. Who did I? Okay. Now, so th does it, I'm assuming it equips to both of them because they have this whole principle of like, Oh, you know, everyone, or both of them are in this together type thing. They both get hurt together. So I'm assuming the equipment applies to both of them. I could be wrong about that. Stupid thing. I shouldn't have been too worried about that thing. Because, like, it does do one damage, you know? But yeah, the level upping... Like, you can really feel the difference in level up, when you level up in this game. Because... I went from 2 damage to 5 damage to 11 damage. Like, that's like more than double every single time. <laughs> that's pretty key, you know? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. I, I'm scared of this thing. Oh, oh, let's go. Okay. How much damage did it do to me? We'll probably have to use... Maybe, hopefully I could get a rest point soon. That would be nice. But I, it does seem like I have... Ooh, cucumber rolls. That's good. It does seem like I have to get some healing pretty soon. More enemies? Oh, okay. Fifteen, so about sixteen hundred gold now from one dungeon. That I mean, it. I can't really tell how much currency is worth in this game, but that is something I want to make a mental note of, you know, going forward. Just like kind of see how much money I could earn, because there, there's some RPGs where you have to be smart with your money, and then there's some where you just get so much money that you just become OP and you can buy anything you want. So I gotta figure out which one of those this is. Fine with Falcom. Usually speaking, you kind of have to be a little bit smarter with your money, at the very least in uh, Trails games, and even some of the Ease games that I've had experience with, you kind of need to try and conserve a little bit. Huh, okay. wonder what that mushroom's about. 
I should keep my health, keep a close eye on my health. 21 HP should be fine for now. And yeah, it's gone to the point where I could beat these things without them actually um, hitting me. And it also seems that the, these dungeons were designed in the sense that you are almost meant to level up in the middle because there's no way I would have lasted as a level 1 at that point. That would just, at this point, you know, that would just be ridiculous. It's no, there's no way that would be happening, you know? Look at that, I'm stocking up on Cucumber Roll again. Maybe I could end up with ton of them. And Gruel Smelt too. Definitely see the possibility there. Okay, what do I get? Whoa! Thank you! Do I, oh, damn! That's cool. Wow, that's how I don't think I've ever seen something like that. Kill me? Goddesses? Right, I think the lore of this world was like there were two. There was a bunch of goddesses, and then they got ousted away by evil people, something like that. I'm probably butchering that hard, but, you know, it is what it is. I am trying to figure out if there's a way to open that over here. Because, you know, treasure and everything. Let's just do a quick scan of this area. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll just check out the new place. So this place... This, yeah, okay, that's a dead end. What about down here to the right? Nothing. Okay. You know what? I I feel like I was pretty thorough with this place. Let's um let's go ahead to the next area. Perhaps there's a switch there. Uh when you can't walk through the portal. Level 2 spider web burrows, burrows clean, cleared bronze metal. Okay. So does that mean I have to go through a level 3 dungeon now? Damn, yo. Warning. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I mean, you know what? We've got... We've got a save file, right? Let's just go ahead and risk it. I'm probably gonna die, but I am curious to see what, what's going on here. Oh, okay, so the warning was more so for a boss battle. <laughs> nice, a tsundere threatening someone. Probably because he doesn't want to. Who do you think you're calling a dopey cat? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wasn't Mont Blanc? Oh! So she's one of Alwyn's people. Also, wasn't Mont Blanc one of the cats involved in uh, knocking down? Uh, thing, Ragnar's aeroplane. That's what I, I'm pretty sure there was someone named Mont Blanc in the intro. I could be remembering this wrong. Uh, maybe if you shut up, 
then you could see that the princess is right here, dumbass. Wrecked. Yeah! Let's go, yeah, we're here to save your ass. I mean, you did kind of set up your bait, though. Cause... Except you're gonna lose now. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if these familiars are gonna be a gameplay mechanic. Still got Ragna, and I could probably kick your ass anyways. Even I, so you're implying that you suck. My princess. Is it true? Unfortunately so, but not to worry. I found someone willing to defend me as I recover my powers. <gasps> Seriously? <laughs> this thing's voice is ridiculous. Ouch, mangy fuzzball. Roasted hard. She recognizes him, doesn't she? I mean, he recognizes him. Ragna does? Yeah, it must have been the plane. I guess I was right. A color that loud? That's an expression I've never heard before. Maybe I just suck at English. Yeah. It's you! You're the human from that red aeroplane! Why are you still alive? How are you still alive? Cause I'll win. Oh, you two know each other. Don't know if I put it like that. This damn cat and her dragon are what shot down the Tristan. It's your fault my plane's all busted up. I almost died in that crash, you know. Guess it's not your lucky day, Buzzball. I don't intend to pass up this chance to pay you back nice and what do you intend to do now? <laughs> oh come on, at least let us fight you before you run away. Come on, you know the JRPG deal. You fight the bad guy, almost beat them, they run away, and then you fight them eight more times. Let, let's go through this. Come on. Oh, he's summoning something. I sense something. What is that? That's a hell of a lot more threatening than Mont Blanc. Master of these abandoned mines, Arc Shield. You blockhead of a cat! Did you really give my magic to this thing? <laughs> I heard it! Oh, let's see how you handle it. So I'm guessing he, this uh, spider uses earth. I think that would make more sense. So that's probably the first power we're getting back. Are we going into it? Okay. Yeah, okay, definitely earth. Um, I'd rather be, okay. 
rather be closer in the middle. I've been pretty, making pretty good progress on this HP. And if I... Level, okay. We do. Fortunately, I do need food. Uh, it doesn't... I don't think I'm going to have enough food to level up. Which is unfortunate, because that would... As you guys know, increase my damage output, like, exponentially. Okay, you know what? Let's try... Let's try Alvin. Alwyn. Alwyn does nothing. Wow. Okay, that's, that's hella bad. Okay. Oh, we, we beat some of the components. Oh, okay. Wow, I did not do much damage there. Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna win. I, I don't have any doubt about that. Okay, now this is getting kind of annoying, but... Running low on food. This is this is our last stand, guys. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be smart this time. Target this way. We destroyed. Okay. What am I supposed to attack now? Oh, maybe I gotta use right now? Okay. Pretty cool teamwork. And his attacks don't seem too, too difficult to dodge. Just kind of whittling away. Okay, now we're back at Owen. Ugh, how am I supposed to get away from these things? Okay. kind of sucks me in too. Okay. 800. Okay, this, this poison thing just kind of goes around me. And I'm going to use the last of my items. this thing down. Oh, I should have totally used my bombs. Ah, get away from me. Don't hit me! Two hundred and nineteen. Ah, no! Let me hit it! Fifty-eight health. Forty-four. There we go. Let's take it. Wow, that was not easy though. Jeez, I had to use literally everything. I definitely could have played that better though, for sure.
Earth magic? Let's go. Steve achievement too. Cool. Elemental, my dear Ragnar. Use the properties of each element to your advantage. Alwyn's earth elemental magic can batter enemies all around her. As your adventure continues, you'll discover magic of other elements. Swap elements by selecting the icons near the top left of the screen. Yeah, I don't I do think I saw that. Yes. Is it possible? I don't see how just the two of you could have Yep. Why is that puny human with you? Because we're that good. The only puny one I see here is you, Fuzzball. Ooh, roasted. What are you gonna say to that? And it looks like your number just came up. Ouch. I'm gonna make sure you never forget the royal ass whipping I'm about to give you. And now he's gonna run away. <laughs> this villain, man. He's one of those com comedic relief villains, isn't he? I wonder when we're gonna meet his master. Probably late game. Ah, the damn cat. Just when I was about to get her back, too. Well, I imagine you'll get your chance sooner or later. Just be patient until then. I know, but it's not like I can just forget about what she did to my poor Tristan. Oh, okay, the cat was female. I totally thought it was a dude. So sad. What a heartfelt reunion. And it doesn't sit well with me at all. However, I've recovered my quake magic. That's a promising start. That leaves three more for me to find and take back. So it's one down, three to go then. It looks like we've barely scratched the surface. Wow, so rude. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Jesus Christ, this is so ridiculous. I'm right here, you know. That's so insulting. Oh my god. So, princess, who's the tater tot? This is Rue, my familiar and faithful servant. Faithful. How do you feel about that, Rue, huh? Yeah, that's right. Ragna, we are Alwyn's partner, not you. Yep, that's right. While Ragna was saving your ass, you were fucking doing nothing. Yeah, we did. We gave it all away. That's exactly what I did. Ouch. Now serves as my loyal blood knight. Hey! You Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing, you angry little midget? Angry little midget. <laughs> First time. <laughs> give away the blood. Give it all up. <laughs> First contact. <laughs> they kind of had something like this in Tales of Zillia too, where like if you like made a contract with a familiar, it's like the equivalent of losing your vir your virginity to them, like something like that.
but somehow I just presumed you two would get along great once you met. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know why you thought that, Alwyn. What type be friends with her? Ouch. My princess! Must you really stay in the company of this man? Yes, I must. Even with one portion of my power back, I'm still a far cry from my former self. That's why I'm enlisting Ragna's aid for the time being. The skills of a treasure hunter certainly come in handy. Gee, I'm touched. Ooh. Well, at the very least, let me come with you, please. I'm glad you're so ardent about helping, but there's something else I need your help with. My other three magics are still out there somewhere in Ilvard, and the only one besides me who can sense their presence is you. I know, I know, but good for you, Tattertot. <laughs> Your princess is giving you an important job. You should be happy. Now you can really wow her with her, how loyal and capable you are. Shut your mouth! If it weren't for you hanging around, I'd be able to... Rue? Oh, jeez, fine. I'll do it. Sigh. My princess knows how to play like a harp. When I see that face of hers, I just can't say no. Hee <laughs> hee. My apologies. Oh, I meant to tell you earlier, but I did find signs of your magic in one other place, princess, but just one. It was coming from that little farming village north of here, but I came here first... I came here first because the sensation I picked up on there was really faint. Got it. Don't worry, we will look into this personally. As for you, keep up the good work searching for my magic. Certainly. Just be careful out there, my princess. Of course, you too. What? Is she gonna apologize? You better not be getting any weird ideas, you scoundrel. My princess may be strong, smart, and refined, but she's always wise to the ways of the world, and as, as it so happens, if you so much think of touching her, I will hunt you down, beat you senseless, and drag you off the edge of this island. Man, you're getting yourself all worked up, and I ain't even done nothing. You keep acting like I'm some dirty Casanova who makes a beeline towards any gal with a pulse. <laughs> Yo, the dialogue in this game is so good. Like, it's so witty. Like... Exactly. You human guys are like wild animals, driven by your carnal lust. I can only imagine what sordid desires fester in your brain. Are you two fighting again? Do I need to make a call a timeout? <laughs> timeout, guys. Kindergarten again. I am not fighting. Anyways, are we clear, human? It's your job to keep my princess completely safe. I better not see a scratch on her perfect skin. It's not like I want to, but I'm leaving her safety to you. Heh, <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. She'll be safe with me. Just relax. Has anyone ever told you you're kinda high-strung? You! Hmm. I'll be going now, my princess. Man, she's really stuck on you, huh? I guess she is. I met, I first met Rue almost ten years ago, and ever since she served me faithfully in the vassal. In my, oh, she served me faithfully as my vassal. But more than just a vassal, she's part of my family now. Wow, you guys go way back. Oh yeah, there's something else she said that caught my attention. She mentioned she felt your magic somewhere around that farming village. Well, Alwyn literally said we're going to investigate that together. But okay, bring it up again. Yes, there's a human settlement in the countryside north of here. It's clear to me that my magic was hidden somewhere in the vicinity of that village. Ah, I see. Well then, guess that's our next stop. Agreed. As soon as we're ready, let's make our way out to the countryside. Okay, um, I do want to save. Let me see if I could save in the overworld here. Uh, that would be really nice. Uh, menu. Okay, um, uh, doesn't seem like I could save, um, okay, I will, uh, I'll probably just save in the Secunda Mines. I will end the session here, um, what I do want to say is that I definitely want to do some off-screen stuff. I want to do a little bit, oh, what the hell? Okay, 
Well, we can investigate what that penguin's up to later too. But so I definitely want to do a bit of off-screen stuff in the Secunda Mines. I want to figure out how to get that treasure I missed on the final floor. And I also want to investigate that second area. Like, you know how I, when this session started, I went left and got destroyed? I want to investigate that. I want to test out how it's like to get, um, you know, 10 of the same food and to exchange that and see if you get, compare the XP trade-off there. And I also want to see what Earth Magic can open up later on. So lots of stuff I want to do. Um, I'll probably do that and then make it into a montage at the start of the next episode and then we'll move on to uh, that new village to the north. So thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you all have a great day.